Hi, this is a size 6 lure hook and very heavy gauge and uh, I'm going to explain you all the material as I go along and I'm going to add little weight on this fly by adding a copper wire if you use touch and turn okay um, the thread is a power silk very strong thread add some wax on and just catch this keep it in the middle don't go too close to the eye because we need that side clear so just kind of secure this that's completely secure I'm gonna just level that up a little bit that's fine. Now, body, this is a actually pink, black and white rabbit zonker and just again length and half of the hook so I just roughly guess that one and a bit more And that's fine. So wet your fingers and kind of get all these hair out of your way. And then catch it, but take your time again. Gently catch this. off a little bit here so now wax on your thread few turn onto the hook and then back again so that will completely secure this now I'm going to push, push this one back and just try to grab this with this clip actually not even grabbing properly right and then just kind of cover this one add some marks and I'm going to create another dubbing loop now like you saw in my other video go around and just go around the loop a few time and then go front of the Hi. For the dubbing, I'm using, I'll just show you in a bit, if you give me one second. This is uh, like a rainbow crystal flash dubbing. It's got all sorts in it. You can use your own choice of the dubbing. I'm just going to finish that with a half hitch so it's not going anywhere. I'm going to open this thread. And just bring that the big. Now I'm gonna put not too much like just a long strand and just spread them out. <coughs> a little bit more.
So, as you can see, I'm going to twist this, touch all the dubbing. Properly. This is a very strong thread, so you don't have to worry about snapping this that easy. And I'm going to get the brush and cut release quite a lot of rubbing. Now, this slips out of my thing. do is just bring your stroke piece backward and bring this slowly slowly towards the eye slipping away from this tool actually I can't find my original tool so and that's fine I'm just gonna give a couple more turns and then catch this with this thread a few more turn is scare now let's get this dubbing brush if you could scroll this one downward that's fine here I'm just going to catch this wet your finger again and then lift that up Come back. That is secure. And then take away this extra piece. I'm just going to cut this off. I'm going to add some marks on the thread. Right. So the next material. I'm going to be using is a this is a hen huckle grizzly hen doctor blue so just choose the longest feather but the best thing to do if you see this is a inside and that is out so keep your thumb inside and nail and then grab this feather and you know stroke it hard as you can see these are curving the tips are curving inside about three times as you can see all the tips are actually going inside so that would be brilliant to just put this on it will just go nicely around the body catch this secure it and then take this off make sure you secure this nicely and now you need a head <coughs> aqua plier and then as you can see if I could just pull this one side feather off and they will 
sit very nicely and leave a little bit so I'm gonna kind of do a touch and turn take my time with this keep going as you can see the feathers are really nicely curving inside the towards the body and then just catch this one gently and then secure this properly and then make sure it's secure right so I'm finished with the power silk now and I'm going to use this black 6 -0, uh, thread just for the head so what I'll do I'm going to put another material on here another hackle actually so that's better next hackle is another grizzly hen hackle and this is a darkish claretish, I would say red claret or if you can find it claret red any color you choose and um, again catch it gently make sure you secure this properly and cut it very close and huckle plier now don't put too much tension on this one because sometimes it snaps so get all the materials out of the way again touching turn just, just a few turn that when you're happy Now that's enough actually. Don't want to go too close to the eye. And then cut this backward and form the head. Now take your time with this. Whip finish. So this is completed. All you need is uh, just to look around, kind of <coughs> check everything is okay, body. <clears throat> great pattern it's a very good pattern for a all predator fish you know you can catch basically a small pike bass you know big trout brown trout <clears throat> and I'm gonna put a little varnish on the head and this is completed so So there we have another predator's lure, great pattern for all sorts of predator fish. You can catch basically small pike, trout, even salmon, smallmouth bass and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.